Household hazardous materials make our chores and projects easier, but they require special care. Choosing a safe, smart solution when you purchase, use, and store household products helps keep your home and family safe. And you help keep our drinking water and our environment clean. It's easy. All you have to do is follow some simple, basic guidelines. Household hazardous materials are the products you use in and around your home that are corrosive, toxic, flammable, or reactive. They are the number one cause of poisonings in children and contaminate our land and water resources. You can make a difference by understanding how to properly purchase, use, and store household hazardous materials. Proper purchasing begins at home by planning for your projects and carefully considering what you'll need. As you plan, consider green alternatives. Many environmentally preferred green cleansers, for example, are available. Ask your retailer for green alternatives whenever possible. Make a shopping list of the items you'll need and be sure to consider quantity so you purchase only what you need. Purchasing only what you need prevents you from having to store materials, decreasing the chance of leaks or accidental poisonings. At the store, before you buy, read product labels for use, storage, and disposal recommendations so you select the best products for your job and understand any precautions you should take. Labels on household hazardous materials are required to contain one of four signal words. The signal words in order of severity are poison, danger, caution, and warning. Poison means the product is highly toxic and can cause injury or death if ingested, inhaled, or absorbed through the skin. Danger means the product is highly toxic, flammable, corrosive, or easily ignitable and can cause serious damage to the skin or eyes. Caution means the product is slightly toxic if swallowed, absorbed through the skin, or inhaled, or can cause slight eye or skin irritation. Warning means the product is moderately toxic or can cause moderate eye or skin irritation. Choose products with the least hazardous signal words or products with no signal words on the label. While checking the labels, look for recommendations on protective equipment. If gloves or a mask are recommended, be sure you have or purchase what you'll need. Now that you've purchased your household hazardous materials, you want to be sure to use and store them properly too. First, let's cover what you should know about proper use. Before you begin your job, be sure to review product labels for instructions on proper use. Use recommended protective equipment to prevent materials from being absorbed through the skin, inhaled or ingested, and ventilate your work area as instructed. Do not use household hazardous materials around food or in areas where food is prepared, and wash your hands thoroughly when you're done. Be prepared for spills. Have rags and garbage bags ready for cleanup. Kitty litter also works for absorbing spills. Remember, more is not better. More does not help you do the job better or faster. It only increases risks. If you end up with leftover household hazardous materials, it's important to store them safely. Here's what you need to know. To properly store household hazardous materials, review product labels once more for storage instructions. Store them in a cool, dry place out of the reach of children. Choose well-ventilated areas away from sources of heat and sparks, like a hot water heater or a furnace. Always keep products in their original containers so they aren't mistaken for something else. Here are reasons why. Original labels clearly mark the product as hazardous and contain important information about proper use, storage, and disposal instructions. Store household hazardous materials in their original container, never in food or beverage containers, since they can easily be confused for edible items by young children. Windshield wiper fluid, for example, may resemble a blue raspberry drink. Antifreeze, a lemon-lime drink, and some disinfectant sprays can look like grape soda. Keep all containers tightly closed, and every month, check for leaks or corrosion. Thank you.
Well, those are the basics to help you safely purchase, use, and store household hazardous materials. Remember to plan ahead and read labels carefully, then follow the instructions and recommendations. You'll keep you and your family safe and help protect our environment. To learn more, visit safesmartsolutions.org. When we change your ways, we change our world. Thanks for watching.